The road to the White House definitely runs through Wisconsin. We may be the swing state, and today the Women for Trump bus tour rolled through the state, making a stop at Holy Hill, then Ozaki and Waukesha counties, where Republican support has dipped in recent years. Jason Calvey is live with the fight for the suburbs, hitting all of the so-called wow counties today, Jason. That's right. Yeah, yeah, several top Trump advisors on that bus crisscrossing those wow counties, Waukesha, Ozaki, as well as Washington counties. And this state where every single vote's going to matter. Last time President Trump won it by fewer than 23,000 votes. The Trump train on a bus in Battleground, Wisconsin. It's going to be extremely important in 2020. Senior campaign advisors Katrina Pearson and Mercedes Schlapp stop in Port Washington for a women in business roundtable. The pitch is the same, particularly for women who, you know, value fa uh, traditional family values, who value jobs, who want tax cuts, who want their children to get a quality education. You know, this is a topic that, you know, in 2020 is a big deal, considering how the president has been very supportive of school choice. The polls show this tour has a lot of work ahead. See in the suburbs is that about 57 percent of men are going for Trump, but about 56 percent of women are going for Biden. Since the men and women are about the same size in the population, that means that the suburbs as a whole are very evenly balanced. Same story, different day. Look, I was there in 2016. The polling has always said that, and it didn't turn out so well. Across the state, the Marquette poll puts Biden ahead by eight points. Like in 2016, there were a lot of people who didn't want to answer in the polls because they don't know where their data is going. They don't want to be identified. They don't want to be harassed. You know, it's uh, not easy to be an outspoken Trump supporter. It's not just this year's polls. Democrats won 2018 statewide elections for governor and Senate. No, we didn't lose. Trump wasn't on the ticket. But he will be in just four months. And now that bus is going to be heading to several other places in Wisconsin, including a farm in De Pere tomorrow, as well as the Republican state convention in Green Bay on Saturday. Now, the Biden campaign is firing back on this tour. They say President Trump always puts himself ahead of Wisconsin women and families, and they're also accusing him of wanting to repeal Obamacare. Reporting live in Waukesha County, Jason Calvey, Fox 6 News. All right, Jason, thank you.